Okay, from here, why don't we just make a safety copy of this thing? So I don't really care where, but just make a safety copy. What we're going to do is take one of these objects and say, go to your file. And there's a, there's a few, a few um, selection here, import, import from file. Export selected, export from with origin. Export from origin is basically where your 0, 0,0 uh, plane is. All right. Since I selected this object, I'm just going to say export selected. And then name it. So let's say uh, for plan test export. One and I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna put it in documents. Yeah, I'll just keep it in there. I'll move it later. And what I'm gonna do is before I move it or before I uh, export it, I'm gonna turn this into AutoCAD. So go find a AutoCAD three or AutoCAD drawing DWG. Okay. You could also use AutoCAD drawing uh, data exchange. That might be a little bit safer, but we'll, for now we'll just do DWG. AutoCAD drawing DWG. Um, you could go ahead and do this option, but I usually don't because it's going to ask me this later again anyway. So if you had to, go ahead and do default or, or lines. Since this is all lines, I could select lines. But for now, I'm just going to select default. Well, actually, let's just select lines. Okay. Uh, and say OK. And then say Save. When I hit Save, basically it's going to ask me the same question again. So that's why I say maybe you could skip the step and do it here. But anyways, I have it saved, so I'll say OK. And it should appear in your wherever you saved this file. So in my case, I saved it to documents, I believe. So there it is, floor plan test export 01, DWG. Okay. So now that we have this, we should be able to open this because we already turned the Rhino file into a um, into an AutoCAD file. We should be able to open this up. So we'll do that next.